Hey, how's it going out there? This is Yellow Spot Papio, part of the Jack family. I just took a random drop and he came straight towards me. Sometimes you get lucky like that. It's such a good tasting fish too. Apologies for not posting anything new. It's been a while, I know. Editing is just so... tedious. Anyway, today I'm going to do a simple poke. You see this style often with ahi, snapper, marlin, you name it. First, chop a bunch of green onions and a Maui onion into a large bowl. I'm only going to use half since I kind of also want to make picada later. I already removed the skin so I don't have to mess with the scales. And you want to just cut along the center and trim off any of the bloodline. Then cut into bite-sized cubes. This is limu, the Japanese call it ogo. Basically it's seaweed that's mostly harvested here on the Hawaiian Islands. This one is farmed, you might not be able to find it fresh, but they do come in dried form and you can probably sub for I don't know, sea asparagus? Not sure, but if you do try that out, let me know in the comments. Just give it a rough haircut, you don't have to mince it. Always, always salt your fish before adding any sauce and combine heads up I like to go heavy on the toppings so tweak the recipe to your liking I'm starting with sesame seeds and a big splash of mirin and a good amount of pure sesame oil mix well from the bottom up try not to mash Chili flakes are always optional, but uncle likes the heat. Okay, uh, so this is somen suyu. It's sold in the Asian food aisles. It's going to give it that umami and help bring out the papillo's natural flavor. Finally, a splash of soy sauce to seal the deal. And always remember to taste just in case before serving. Thanks for watching. I hope you all liked it. Remember guys, there's no wrong way to enjoy this fish. People usually sashimi it, but try it piccata style with the capers too. It's super ono. Till next time.